Okay, so this is a test of backing up. Um, I didn't change any of the code. I'll have a picture at the end of the settings, but basically just said with the pivot behind or ahead of the antenna, and then of course the steering's in the back. So here, bombing along at seven miles an hour. And this is a good example of when stuff goes sideways. So I flip it off and turn sideways, and I want to get back on the line again, and just about put the stupid thing in a steep ditch. Everything can go sideways in a hurry. So I'll slam on the clutch and stop. But anyway, it recovers back. What I've done is I've changed the look ahead to be really long. See, look, nobody coming. Uh, look ahead really, and then also change down the counts per degree so that it doesn't steer as sharp. I mean, remember, Ackerman, when you're backing up, is the wrong way on a tractor. Whereas a combine, you notice that the tie rods are pointing the opposite way that a tractor would when it's going backwards. So it's, it's really, really sensitive when you're going backwards in a tractor. That's why it steers so flaky. And look at that. Yeah, as soon as you turn your back, there's somebody coming. And so, yeah, let him go by. Just about backed over top of him. Anyway, that's the way it goes. But, yeah, it takes a little longer, of course. But, yeah, you can definitely run the, uh, the tractor in either contour or uh, A and B. AB line or AB curve. And you have to play with the settings because, well, especially in a tractor. Again, the combine will be different because it's set up to drive backwards, which is forwards, all the time. But yeah, it actually does work. So, in terms of the settings, the, uh, the steer axle behind, and of course, the tool is ahead, and the tool attached, and the uh, antenna, depending on where your antenna is, if it's ahead or behind the pivot. Again, the direction of your of your uh, <laughs> of your vehicle, Japers, and then um, yeah, set the set the steering parameters, and it takes some fiddling, but the code does work. And okay, cool. Thanks.